Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sadda Falam. I review medical lectures so that you can find the right lecture as per your need. Now, have you ever wondered, you and your friend study from online lectures, but somehow your friend knows more? Why? Because by chance, he happens to do a better lecture. Now, please spend quality time on studying rather than quantity. So let me tell you what are the best lectures in macrocytic anemia. Before I start, I think you all must know that macrocytic anemias are of two types. One that are associated with megaloblastic uh, features in the bone marrow and the ones that do not have megaloblastic features in the bone marrow. So keep that in mind and also remember that not only B12 deficiency and folic acid deficiency are the causes of megaloblastic anemia, there are other causes like orotic acid urea and other deficiencies. Make sure you know that. The first one. Uh, whether you have an exam tomorrow or you're simply studying, if you had to choose one lecture, it would be Paul Berlin, MD. Uh, Macrocytic anemia, I think he's done a very good job. No matter where you're studying from, you must do the absorption of uh, um, B12 from physiopathopharmaco channel. Uh, it's really, really good. It's a really, I think it's the best explain in that but don't do other things uh, especially the first picture that they have given that is not of uh, uh, macrocytic anemia that will confuse you just do the pathophysiology from there it's really good now coming to the shilling test shilling test is very well explained by uh, medicosis perfectionalis and uh, do the diagnosis and treatment of perinaceous anemia by uh, Momentrix Academy. It has done a good job. Uh, for NEAT uh, exams, AIMS exams, you need to do slightly extra. Uh, there are a lot of concepts that none of these places have touched. Uh, you do Murli Bhardwaj, even though the quality of the video is pretty poor, but he speaks a lot about a lot of things which are important and it completes the topic basically for you. Also, don't forget to see uh, the slides like you must know what a megaloblast looks like and uh, what a macrocyte looks like what are the other features like basophilling, stippling and other things just look at it once and uh, that's all for my review if you found it useful please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to watch my other videos uh, bye bye